Hey, what's going on guys? My name is TF141Ghost and today we're playing some free-for-all on the map Terminal using the TAR-21 with Diarrhea Vomit Camo. I'm not quite sure why I have this on. It's really weird. This gameplay is from a couple weeks ago. I was getting back into some COD. But it was always weird when I would jump into a free-for-all and I would see a bunch of sequential headshots in a row and then I would hear the zzzk of the tack in, sh in shirt. God, I sound like Sean Connery in my commentary sometimes. Uh, but the tech insert sound and I go over there and it's two guys just shooting each other in the head And I'm just like what what are they doing? Now keep in mind. This was the early days of Call of Duty and I was like, oh, they're boosting to get diarrhea I almost said flavored <laughs> good god well, Diarrhea colored camos uh, anyways. It's all about red tiger anyways blue tigers kind of cool, too um, but let me just jump into topic because I am going to run out of time very rapidly because this is a very serious conversation I am going to talk about this channel at the very end, very, very, very briefly, actually if I can get to it, but primarily I'm going to talk about my old channel, which is tf 141 Ghost. Let me situate myself in this chair a little better, I'm sliding down. Um, tf 141 Ghost, G-H-O-5-T. I created a YouTube channel years and years ago. I started it from the ground up, basically by myself, had a little bit of help from some other people, but primarily, you know, I started it. I put out so much effort in so and so. I put in thousands of hours into getting gameplays. I have 56 ga days. Goodness, God, this commentary is the worst. 56 days played on Modern Warfare 2 alone. And that's getting gameplays. That's having fun. That's trying to get content to entertain you guys. Uh, rendering commentaries takes time. Getting commentaries. This is like my fourth try doing this commentary alone because. Sometimes I don't think it's adequate enough to hold someone's attention, so I'll just restart it. And who knows, I might not even get through this one. <clears throat> but basically what I'm trying to say is I put a lot of effort, thousands of hours of effort into that channel. 25,000 plus subscribers, Machinima Partner, I was connected with a lot of community channels, I helped out people for Fanfare and Free For All Friday to have their smaller channels possibly be noticed and uh, get going and that's just how you network the little people nowadays and that's what I like doing also I liked helping the smaller guys so <clears throat> there was that uh, basically what I'm trying to say is I put a lot of my life aside and a lot of time of my life into that channel and uh, I loved it it was my favorite thing to do uh, basically I've never talked about this in a commentary and I probably never will it was just two situations happened uh, in sequential order that basically rendered me financially very 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 unstable and I needed to sell stuff I needed to sell my channel and uh, I threw out on Twitter one day I was like listen is anyone interested in buying this channel because I, I needed money fast I could potentially be on the street if I didn't have money and you know I had to put all this stuff aside I had to get rid of it because uh, one it occupied a lot of my time and it's just I needed the money uh, so what I did was I threw that out on Twitter. I was like, hey, is anyone interested in purchasing my channel? And like an idiot, like a, a younger idiot actually, I took the first offer that was available. And a lot of people asked me, Ghost, how much did you make off your TF141 Ghost channel? And people were like, two, three, four thousand. I'm like, good God, are you out of your mind? It's not even close. And... It's just uh, the number I really should have reconsidered it and I regret selling my channel but hey that's my mistake uh, but I once again I needed the money and I put that money towards that and it helps uh, help me in the long run so I sold my channel I sold it to a young man who said he was gonna upload fairly often and I was like good you can use you know that fan base have them love you man have them you know enjoy your content get your name out there you know have fun with it and he was like yeah I'll do that etc and uh, it's about two years later and we have what five or six videos on the new channel well hit the new TF141 ghost channel and you know what I used to do that in a week easily and we're talking two years and so I approached the gentleman, the young man, I need to wrap this up real quick, and I asked, hey man, can I just have my channel back? Because you've definitely made more money off my views, off ad revenue, than you actually bought the channel for. <clears throat> and he's just like, no. And uh, it's kind of sucks, because, you know, I 
kind of helped you. You definitely helped me out, but I kind of helped you out also. I gave you the opportunity to have a great head start on something, and you just ran it into the ground, and uh, it sucks. So I figured, I mean, you easily made your money back probably tenfold. You probably made a shit ton because a lot of those videos I saw had about a quarter of, of a million views, a lot of the Minecraft videos. So uh, it's just embarrassing, and uh, I regret selling my channel. And I'm not going to get it back because I guess this kid doesn't want to give it back, which is unfortunate. So for this channel, like I said, I guess I'm going to give it a go and we'll see what happens. I'm going to start uploading more. See you guys later. Bye.